Hey bitches, we're back. It's been a long time, few weeks. <laughs> Got the gang with me. Yes, ma'am. Hey gang. What up with it? What's T? Stevie, what's up, bitch? What's the T, everybody? What's up? We miss y'all. Hey, Aaron. Hey, 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 what's up, y'all? You are you under the weather? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, hey, Trey Girl. Hello. What's the T? I'm going to do a little check-in. We got some checking in to do, bitch. Do we? Because we ain't seen each other in a minute. It's been and a we, couple. y'all ain't been in our, you ain't heard our voices. We ain't been in y'all ear in a minute. So tell me what's good, Aaron. What have you been up to? Midterms. Um, It's been the season of the midterms. And just, you know, assorted a papers and different, um, you know, midway through the semester, like assignments and such. So it's been kind of bogging me down. So... Uh, beyond that, I've been um, trying to f- figure out like what PS4 game I'm gonna buy next. <laughs> so you have a P- you own a PS4? Yeah, yeah, I have for a little bit. Um, I just I don't I don't really play it as um, as much uh, already. Like it's like I've already like kind of chilled out on using it. So like I want to like get something else and get going. But I don't know what games. I'm really picky. How long have you had it? Um, maybe like five. Six months. Oh, didn't you tell us you were playing like Spider Man and stuff? Yeah, or but you I talk beat that. about the Switch mm-hmm. so much, so yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> right now for the Switch, I'm still waiting for the Pokemon game to come out that comes out in uh, mid November. Oh, okay. Um, and for the PS4, I've beaten all the games that I was playing on it, so now oh, I'm just shit. like searching for something else. But um, <laughs> yeah, no. Other than other than school mm-hmm. and video games, I've been chilling. And you already took your midterms. Yes, it is over. And how you gods. feeling about them? You know, we survived. We're not gonna, <laughs> we sur- we survived, and we're not going to talk about it in depth because it's Sheesh. you know there was some sacrifices. You know, come on, sacrifices. Uh, we, also, <laughs> oh lost sorry to people grill in you. the war. <laughs> I'm sorry to grill you, but what was the hardest one? And what was the easiest one of the midterms? The hardest had? one was Christian mystical texts. The easiest one was tragedy and comedy. Oh, okay, interesting. Mm. Okay. Well, hey, girl. Hello. Miss Puss. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Let me get to my shit. Hi, what's up? What's tea? Good evening, everybody. I ain't got time for you, bitch. You know, listen. Tell me something nice, bitch. What's been up with you? Um, I've been having some weekdays. Uh, I've been we- really weak and out of my uh out of my own element. Um, but I'm still pushing and still doing my thing. Um, I recently have been helping my friend Edison uh, with his podcast because he comes to the right people to do a podcast and stuff like that. Shout out to Edison. Um, He's had me on a few of his episodes. I think I spoke about that on the last episode when we were all together. Um, I've been a guest. He had like a one-on-one sit down. Uh, He invited uh, my best friend Charlie to be his official co-host. So they had their whole little mix going on. what else? Oh, the Airy interview came out. Yes, so I've been yes. promoting and pushing that, which shout I out. am very, very proud of myself for doing. Uh, shout out to Airy. They are yeah. like dope, dope. I didn't know too many people knew who they were, but a lot of people know them. And I'm very, very excited to like, you know, get into that that field of yeah. like interviewing and like meeting celebs and just doing a whole bunch of stuff. So, yeah. That's it. That's I love pretty. it. I love it. Awesome. And me and Malik went out for lunch yeah, and stuff and talking about some things <laughs> that I've been going through. He's been a really, really yeah, great yeah. friend. Um, um, yeah. I'm sorry to... Um, What's tea? You know me. I always uh. apologize, apologize for my absence, but I really need to start like setting time aside for my friends because like, yeah. it was really nice to like catch up with you. Mm-hmm, and then, but mm-hmm. also, like you know... I didn't want to catch up with you on some teas, you know, if that bitch. means anything. Yeah, yeah, you know, but no. it was cool. Yeah, But it was time. all love and, yeah. um, you know, support. And you know I'm always here for you. Yes, yes. Um, and vice versa. Shout and out so, to the Cecil, okay? Yes, yes. <laughs> Shout out to Miss Cecil, because he had a ball. It was a great, great time. And Sunday. let me say, side note, I'm going to stop going and spending my coin in Harlem, because, bitch, Girl. these girls charged me $30 for two, two cocktails. Drinks. Jesus Christ. And I was the fuck over it. But they were good. Yeah, and we they definitely were. Well, I mean, I was already the lit fuck at that yeah, time. We were, so, yeah. Um, but yeah, great I times. just found this place. Well, not, I didn't find it. Um, 
my fr- a friend of mine, Kenny, he took me to this uh, place that had fantastic margaritas. It's like, come on, fantastic margaritas. It's like it's it's more or less in my neighborhood ish. Oh, okay. okay. So in Brooklyn. You know, so well, you make not, sure you drop really, that address. For it's us. really not that far from me. I do not remember the name. Oh shit. Uh, but I know that, like, I know I can get there from at least one of my best friend's houses. Like, I can I can go there and I can walk from there. Mm. And that's not far from where I live, so I'm really excited right. to have like a little place so I can go to, <laughs> you know, where I can go <laughs> down the street. Come on, yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> if I want a cocktail, I'm going down the street. I get sauced up and ease on down the road. Come on, you know what I'm saying? right back to your home. I, okay. just, I just recently went to Claw Daddy's. I was telling you oh about my God. it. I fucking and, love Claw Daddy's. Um, I'm not really a seafood person, um, but I enjoy myself. They have amazing drinks, and they I feel like I never, I'm not really an eating person. Like I'm, I, I love good food, but bitch, I'm there for the drinks, bitch. No. Where the, where the cocktails at? Mm. So. So, um, one too, yeah. No, it was uh, it was decent. It was decently priced. I had a really good time. Um, but yeah, Trey, hey girl, new do. Hello. <laughs> oh, girl, I can't get it back. I no. said hello. <laughs> I'm about to say we've been going for a long time. I feel like the energy is a little funky girl. in here. And Jack is some energy. Shake the fuck up, everybody. Look. They don't know what time it is. They don't need well, to they, know. They can <laughs> know right now. Okay. It is. It's after Past hours. my bedtime. Yeah. The girls after is up in here. Power. And <laughs> all the girls is up in here with their bonnets on, bitch. Don't right. I won't be sleeping for another six hours. <laughs> Yo. So, oh, my God. I'm about to, I should have brought my eye cream, but no. Like, <laughs> how you doing? I'm fine. How are y'all? Oh, no, what you been up to, bitch? What's your tea? Nothing, really. I mean, I'm still in school mm. for another semester. Okay. Mm. Um, and how is that going with you working full time? Or I'm not even working. Well, I mean, I'm doing everything. And, yeah. Uh, <laughs> what am I not doing? Um, no, it's fine. I'm just tired. Um, more so, I'm looking for a new place to mm. live. I'm like trying to just keep from having a mental breakdown daily. You yes. Know? That's Praise life. God. I know the. I feel like that's like too early for me to be 23 and like trying to keep a mental breakdown from happening but you know <laughs> well bitch you, you basically live in two lives right now you got your New York life you got your Philly life you're going back and forth I can imagine that's very taxing uh yeah but like I'm <clears throat> planning on hopefully before after the new year moving to Jersey mm-hmm. um which I'll be like 23 minutes away from the yeah. city so it would be great I think I found a place okay like, Come I'm, on, Jersey. I'm, I'm excited so all Once the girls I, live in Jersey, bitch. Yeah, all the bitches no live in Jersey. I mean, I will have a sleeper couch okay. for whoever wants to come over. I'm down. Um, as long as there's a meal, I'll okay. be there. Okay. <laughs> but no, I'm excited. I think I just want to... Uh, I hate not being home, mm. but like I, I'm tired. Like I have too far of a commute yeah. for life. Mm. No shade. No shade. I pray for you constantly because, bitch, I couldn't do it. And yeah. you said you I have one more me. semester? Yeah, so I more. have like I have one more final semester before mm-hmm. I'm done. Okay, hopefully, praise to God. So you just gotta hold on. Hold on. I only have three classes because I I dropped them three girl like oh, three shit. times. Here you go. <laughs> Dropping them, they'll get you every time, bitch. I dropped you think three you're being classes. Cute? <laughs> no, I, it didn't get me. Like I knew I was dropping them, but like I got like at one point I was just like, I don't fucking need you right now. Yeah, and like I dropped like Italian. And then, like, oh, come on. two two semesters ago, I dropped like two math classes. I was like, you know what? <laughs> um, life is better without you. Okay, so bitch. I will. I will pretty much do that. The girls will pay it. Yeah. Mm. And so, like, my Italian teacher, she got annoyed, annoying, because like the, after this first week, she was like. If you need like a tutor, so oh, no. I was like, "Bitch, it's the first fucking week. Like, get out of my fucking face." <laughs> she yeah. said, "Each one, teach one." Bitch. Yeah, she was trying, but she <laughs> was starting to oh, no. like. Each one, I hadn't even handed in an assignment first, <laughs> and I'm like, "Bitch, first of all, <laughs> this is not lean on me or nothing. Okay. Like, I don't need that shit." Can my sis put where my sis put her best like, foot forward? It's, a, it's fucking Italian. Like, girl, you gonna think I'm gonna learn a real language in six weeks? No. I cannot. Like, kiss my black ass and. Then then I Come dropped on. her class. Like a girl, foreign language is the will be and is the death of me. It's no shame. And it's disrespectful that they <laughs> make it for my school. They made it a requirement that you have to finish two semesters of yeah. it. So like for me, like you're learning the basics of a language in 15 weeks or so. 
And like they're expecting you never to be absent. Never to be doing nothing. Like, I just be like, girl, I don't got time. Mm -mm." And it was early. Yeah, I dropped her. I ain't Italian. No shit. I dropped her. Mm -hmm. It was cute. I will be taking her online where I can actively learn from Google. (laughs) Okay, and get answers. Okay, (laughs) that's what I did the first semester, the first time. I I love it. Bitch, I ain't been up to too much. Um, I'm thankful. I'm gonna say, Mama, you rocking that yeah. pink. I see. Uh, <laughs> you know, I've been very happy since I let a few things go in my life, and um, I've been really, honestly, focusing on the things that I need to focus on, um, and not necessarily wor- wor- worrying about like just outside stuff. Um, and I've just been working honestly and just enjoying the quiet and the peace that I have for real, for real. Um, I think out of like four or five years I've been here, this is the quietest my life has been, and I'm like kind of thankful because. I ain't got shit going on and that's like the first time I can say that but um you know me bitch I'm always grateful to be back in the studio bitch Mm -hmm. um this is like the first time that we were away and I didn't necessarily want it want to be away um but for no particular reason but um I was just like ready to get back in the studio so like I'm glad um we're back, bitch. No shade. Okay, now we told the girls what we were going to tell them. Oh! We were gonna tell them now, listen, I ain't we got ain't... nothing to say. <laughs> I'm just saying. Now, listen, let's stop putting on a press, you know, a press but release. But all I'm going to say is say. there will be no reading. That's all I'm going to no, say. There's no reading. There was, no, there's no reading, but yeah, we, we need just, you girls to understand exactly what happened. And what, you know, We just had technical we difficulties. We had a lot of things say. going on over here. <laughs> we had It's a hard thing to put together a podcast and bring it for you girls every it week. It really is. And it's I don't want to um, get on a soapbox, but a lot of people... Or just people do ask about, like, you know, when we put out episodes and stuff. And I want to say, like, it is um, very challenging. And challenging really isn't it the word to, like, get four people on one schedule, you know. Um, And we've been doing it for quite some time. And it seems that our, like, schedule change. All of our schedules change at the drop of a dime sometimes. Mm So... Um, we make it work. So it was what it was. And it is what the it is. The girls have things going on. And listen, y'all got 82 to 83 episodes yeah. to listen to. I know you girls are not all caught up. So catch up to those. And, we, you know, when they come out, they come out. We we got, um, we got, we got right. And I hope or we got to find our sweet spot when it comes to, like, our recording days. Because we had to talk, like, yo, the weekends ain't it for me no more. Mm-mm. And that's just because, like, I just been like resting from working Monday through Friday. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And um, you know, at, at first I was going to therapy, but bitch, I even stopped going to therapy, bitch, because just working Monday through Friday, it's it's a lot, you know, and just getting adjusted to that. But mm. um, if it need be, if we gotta record on the weekend, I'm down. <laughs> but bitch, I would avoid to do all my dirt during Monday through Friday, so Come I can you know enjoy my weekend, <laughs> mm-hmm. you know. And then like that would have having Trey to come all the way back to the city, you know, on the weekends. That's a lot as well. Um, so it's just best if we record during the week when everybody here and everybody, like, you and know. And the block is hot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I don't need no more breaks because I'm tired of people asking me. Oh, all right. <laughs> I, I, think we, I think we all can say that I, we're all a little tired of the girls. No, asking no, no. We're not. I'm not tired of that. Not tired. Yeah. But I am tired of certain people <laughs> hopping in my DMs. Not certain people. <laughs> and then like okay I understand like I appreciate everyone that listens. Oh yeah yeah. Like don't get me wrong I appreciate y'all all your quirkiness and everything. It's fabulous. But also like if I don't give you attention like after the third try stop trying to get my attention. And well, like, wait a minute. Which, wait, wait a minute. Hold it. How? What kind of questions? Are they asking you stuff pertaining to the so, show or? So you ask me things pertaining to the show when your motives are not pertaining to oh, the no. show. Well, I mean. It's... So like, mm. I will just say mm. that I just don't eat. Like, I think people would really think I'm just a terrible. Like, I don't answer. Like, I will read your shit and then don't eat. And then like, live life. Like, stop. Yeah. If my you. thing about it is, if you gonna be bold, be bold. Don't use the cover of this show, cause then I'm gonna just tell you that you asked me where we was. I told you to ask somebody and then leave me alone. Who you doing? Yeah. Mm-mm. And can I also say this is just a general statement, but if you reach out to me for help via the podcast, 
what kind of messages don't. are y'all bitches getting? Because why? Wow, right, I'm like, so, oh, somebody oh, asked me. Nah, I yo, asked. I'm like, this is like the, the season of the, 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 the warning. <laughs> I got like, asked. Somebody asked me. So why are you single? Oh, Ma'am, no. well, that's a bad is question. That is a bad question. First of all, I hate that question. It doesn't have anything to do with the show, though. It does <laughs> nothing to do with the show. I mean, well, it, I mean if the girls are giving well, me. Well, I mean, they didn't, they didn't mm-hmm. use the show as a cover in that. They just, they just asked cover. the question. Asked <laughs> they just asked the question. Well, he got into your DMs single. prior to asking No, he asked me first about the show and then asked, well, why are you single? Well, so that, that's not using the show as a cover. I mean, that's he, 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 he took hold care up, of business. Up, hold no, no, no. Hold he took care of business first, Aren't and he was like, "Now nah, business is concluded. Hold now we're we gonna get to the good wait stuff. Now, minute. now, hold it. You know, now, now that I know where y'all time. are coming back. Yeah, she got time. I smell. You know what, what, what I'm saying? Now I want to know why you single. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But wait a minute. The reason why he was he pulled out the docket and he was like, "Now, okay, I want to see what's next." It wasn't on the docket. On the list. Girls have put that on the show, and they've listened. That's what they're going to ask. Yeah. No shade. I I'm hate the question mm-hmm. why are you single I me think too. it's the worst question to ask someone well, get to know me I would say the worst I, just, I, 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 know, I, I never know how to answer because it doesn't yeah. make sense like why else is somebody saying because no man is made me like made me feel enough to be like oh let's be in a relationship because like, only one man has choked me the way that I needed to be choked like what? I don't need <laughs> ain't nobody asked for that and I he like, and I are on that wavelength so that's yeah, why I'm like, single Cause my ex no, I'm did saying, me like, dirty I never know what to I'm say single, Whenever like, what anyone asks me, me that I'm just like I don't, I don't know They want you girls To come up with some so answers So I always say something I'll say something different like, Unless like, you oh. want to say I'm going to try And make you not say Like I'm trying to figure out Like Oh, what, he's trying to minute. pull up. Ooh, wait, wait, trying to say, wait, if you won't pull up, pull up. Wait like, that's all I'm saying. What don't if that let me say this. Why are you single? I'm not having no problems right now. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no, no, no. Don't, give us a no. don't be giving us a him exclusive because you know we're going to no, ask you some questions. There, there is no exclusive. What I'm saying. I had no problems. No, no, no. What I'm saying is that. Pull up bumper, why don't you? What I'm saying is that nobody's. I don't. Nobody's DMing me nothing. Nobody's. I'm not having any issues with like with people. Hitting y'all having issues with people DMing you weird shit and questions. Got gotcha. None of that's happening to me right now. No, no. Right? Everything well, is good over here. Now they're not playing with your face no. as much. No, nobody's playing my face right now. So that's y'all. I don't know what's going on with y'all. They playing in y'all face. They playing in my face. They playing in don't Like I'm not playing in somebody else's. Like, can you just leave me alone? And I think because we haven't been on the show. For a very they miss quick, our voices. Girl. They got, know? they don't know half the the information from like anything. So I can't be like, mm. well, girl, just leave me alone. Well, if the girls are giving up here saying My. that they single. The questions they gonna ask you is why are you why are you single? single? It's no. Sh- I mean, I, I wouldn't say that the they need to address you that way. But if they know you single, they are gonna shoot it the way they want to shoot look, it. It's no that's because it's that's the term of life that I'm. That's I'm the saying. moment in my. That's the chapter of my life right now. Okay. 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 And y'all, we're all single, right? Everybody. I guess. Mm-hmm. Everybody, clap yep. your hands. Child, I've been talking to my ex again though. Okay. Same. Okay. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Same. <laughs> But mine's has always been around there, so I just can't. Right, say that. <laughs> right see, yeah. it's just a thing. I, I, I don't know. Why do you don't want to go nowhere? Cause I, mine's, I know. But see, my thing is, my ex ain't never left. Is he's just always no, been yeah. there? Yeah, yeah, I don't, yes. I don't know. I don't know. Exactly. See, everybody ain't got the experience. I want to say this though. I do. I do kind of want to talk about my ex. One thing that I know this show is so fucking all over the place, but like <laughs> one thing that I feel that I've gained from being away from him is just like mental and emotional clarity on like some of the things that I was going through that necessarily wasn't attached to our relationship, but mm-hmm. just like the depression and stuff. Um, and now like that I am where I am, I, I kind of feel as though, and I may be speaking prematurely, but like I feel like he hasn't really done any emotional work. Um, and I think I went back to, oh, so like I had like talked about previously how I carried and how like I was such this like disgusting person in the relationship. And I recently reached out to him um, yes. to kind of like apologize for my behavior in the relationship. And I, f- I felt like I was being antagonized during the entire like apology. He was, I would say something like I'm I'm apologizing for, you know, yada yada and he would give very much of and what else <laughs> and what else <laughs> and this and chapter you is thing. closed <laughs> you playing that's too much so uh-huh. um needless to say like I totally like backed away from it but we we've had more conversations since then but um again I feel like 
I don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't feel like he's changed. You never know. I don't yeah. know. Cuz I still feel the same like the 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 Are grievances that I have, the grievances that I had when we broke up, I still have. I'm just more. So why are you talking? Yeah, why are you so speaking? Because I feel like that he can change, though. Like so I feel true. like we Look, never, we we've, we've never had the conversations publicly that we should have had before we broke up. So you can have the conversations. And, I, and, and again, what I'm saying right? is like I didn't have the uh, tools to like even like give that to him or right. to even say that to him. You know. Um, and I'm not necessarily, yeah, I just don't want to be controlled. You know, That's I'm it. not looking for a father. I am. I ain't had no daddy around. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm not looking for nobody <laughs> to take no care of me. Around. You know what I'm saying? That's wild, wild. I and that's, that's the whole thing <laughs> with my ex. Around. It's like you you already knew I was a wild card when you you chose me, bitch. Come on, wild. It's no shade. It's Smell just it. like th- I've always been that way. And mm-hmm. though I do think that, you know, as far as me being an adult, I think that with being an adult comes preparation and planning. And I like, I think those were the issues issues that my ex had with me like i'm bitch yeah. i don't plan <laughs> we know i like literally wake up the, the day of and i'm like oh i'm gonna do that's this what I'm gonna do. you know that's it. um and that's totally the opposite of what my ex is so i think that was like a major thing for him but um i don't know like i will say this out of anybody that i've dated thus far how i want it to be like how i want to be treated as like a human being is like that's what i get from him like seriously mm, that's good so i i don't know if that's like necessarily worth like sifting through all of that so that's where i am mm. i'm also accepting applications and still i'm just saying <laughs> I'm still so, dating. Uh, no, <laughs> how are you gonna say all that about you and your ex so and your ass, right? concluded I, with I, oh I, and by the way if anybody so else wanted to hop onto this wagon <laughs> <laughs> i've learned to ignore me because then next oh week you'll tell us I got me a man, right? Uh-huh. And, uh-huh. Life, and, a, and and I can't do this. Mind so you, I was just laid up last. Yeah, the other. This is why. This <laughs> is why I, do I that put a, thing a, a I curtain can. behind <laughs> in front of me because I can't deal <laughs> with the shenanigans. My love is separate. <laughs> I That's what separate. I do. Like you know what I'm saying. Like when it's time to pick it up and pick it up. And pick it up. And if we're like really gonna be, you know, committed to the situation, then let's, let's do, do it. it. But uh-huh. like, girl, you know, if me. <laughs> You know what I need? Ooh, Herod is ooh, so over I here. No, I I um key, I've been trying to move into this space where I'm not as uh We're not even following this. Just get to me. <laughs> no, I was gonna say not as uh well I'm, what am I trying to say? I remember this I tweeted, no, I tweeted about this, how I wanted to move into my, you know, my grown and sexy, like mm. And mm. just kind of not caring as much about how I'm perceived oh. um, no. or, you know, like even in like small situations, just like, hey, this is what I, I'm going to say what I have to say. I'm not going to over explain. I'm not going to add a little bit on the end. I'm not going to, you know, what I'm saying here's what it is and that, you know, what I'm saying mm. like trying to do more of that as it relates to interactions with with niggas. Come on, um, and it's nice, you know. It feels kind of it's like self affirming, you know. When you like, it's like you're standing up for yourself when you just very clearly articulate, and always, even when you're already in the room with them, you know. what I'm saying like you're articulating the whole time, like, you know, oh no, we're not doing that. We this, ain't fucking. You know, blah blah. blah. Like mm-hmm. I like I like to do this or blah blah, blah or like stop. Yeah, or, you know what I'm saying like that kind of thing. Like just speaking up more and not just you know keeping. Anything like anything that I feel like, just oh, I'm not gonna say that. I'm gonna just you know, and it's nice. It's it's uh, it's nice. Um, I feel like you like specifically dating here. You kind of need to use that because bitch, you'll be confronted with a lot of bullshit if you don't. Mm. Um, stand your ground. Kinda, that's kind of like where I learned that here because niggas will bang on you in New York. Like you know, I feel like in down south they'll be like, oh, you know, woo woo woo. But here they like they really give it up. Cause it's hardcore. You know it's hardcore. <laughs> I'm like, this oh my god. You know it again. <laughs> Y'all oh fucking up god. the girls like that. Mm. This is also so random. I feel like I don't date guys that share the same connection to my community. Okay. Is this something I, that you're searching for? Uh, I mean, like, is that a, something that you you want though? If you if you see the pattern in it, ultimately. I mean, like, I want to date someone with that has that shares the same connection to my community. 
like I ultimately want that but I've never dated anybody that has shares the same connection and I don't what do you mean by I'm about to say like in the scene and stuff like that (laughs) A little bit. Okay. Yeah. Would, listen, I've never. None, um, of my, none of mine have been in the scene either. So yeah, it's okay. I, like I'm not. Mm-hmm. I'm not a public figure, but I feel like I'm a like. You out I'm, there? I'm here to advocate for my community. Mm-hmm. Um, and now that I finally have a platform to do that, um, I want someone not necessarily with the same mission, mm-hmm. but that's going to support me in doing that. You know, mm. um, I don't necessarily not th- not that. It needs to be important to my partner, but I think I need. You to just have need the support. support, right? Um, what does support look like? I'm I'm trying to figure out like what exactly do you see support of what? Like if there's a girl, you need to be out here like repping, you know, advocating for the trans girls, the and the trans men. Like Come on. they're like those are topics that I don't necessarily even discuss. Um, I mean. I personally talk about them and we have very surface level conversations, but like, what are you doing to help the community that you are a part of Mm -hmm. is what I'm saying. And I don't think that anybody that I've dated can really has an answer for that. Well, give a taker of like one or two. Also though, I think, and it's not, it's not necessarily their, their calling, uh, their calling, their responsibility. They, I, they don't necessarily have to be connected to the community. But you but, basically just want the support. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I feel like the support is, like, <laughs> see, for me, like, I'm trying to wonder, is, is it like, through, yeah. so. is it like, babe, that what you're doing is great. I'm supporting that. Like, like I'm trying to figure mm. out, is that what you want? Mm. Or do you want somebody that's in the scene? Like, I'm trying to figure, like, to me, I think it's I either... I want somebody in the scene. Then, I think you then, definitely yeah. want somebody that's in the scene. More than the support. You yeah. want someone that is an advocate, someone that holds the same values yeah. as you. I mean, you don't have to be super and then, visible or anything. Like, I mean, you know, we know, yeah. Or I'm, you don't have to be visible at all. But, what but I'm saying you is want somebody like to active. go to the rallies with you. You want somebody to go active in the community. Yeah. And so you <laughs> don't want to do want, this rally. Yeah. I think it's more yeah. of like you want that instead of like supportive of like, oh, I'm supportive of your dreams and your endeavors and right. what you're doing. I'm not going to go. Like, oh. Uh, that's cute. Uh, right. I'm supportive of you because this is important to you. And I believe, like, there's people that believe that what you're fighting for is just and right and everything, mm-hmm. but still just, it's just not who they are. It's just not the life that they've lived. And at a certain age, you're not going to change. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I see, I think I just wanted to get to know, like, where you were re- yeah, like yeah. did you want the support or did you know because i feel edit? like i got i mean bitch you anybody can feign support like yeah. hey girl girl your podcast everything like you know or mm-hmm. whatever it is like you can fake yeah, I support say that to everyone who's but, <laughs> but, <laughs> oh my god <laughs> i really hate you no no but to have like the actual have someone stand beside you is like amazing but um we actually need to get into the real show because <laughs> you tiptoed around that motherfucker why don't you i'm sorry there was some things on my heart Oh, this is supposed to be the <laughs> taking it back in the day. Back, back in the day. So I expect some laughters, bitches, because I know y'all did some funny shit as, as a kid. Mm-hmm. I did it. So. I'm a childhood of sadness. So. Oh, no. What's the funniest thing you did as a kid that your parents still talk about to this day? Or any relative for that matter? Okay, mm. I'll go first. Okay. Um, <laughs> So my parents got married. Um. Uh, what was that 97 96 um, and <laughs> they were you know doing their vows and everything and me being just like you know loving music and singing and everything <laughs> I took it upon myself I think around that time that um, the song In the Jungle The Mighty Jungle The Lion Sleeps Tonight mm-hmm. right so I get up there and I just start like as they're doing their vows like I just like was in the bathroom, ran to the front, and I'm just like, wait, don't sing without me. Like, don't start. And then I just like, I have a song to sing. And everyone was like, Steven, they're starting to do the battle. I'm like, wait, no, just wait. And I just started singing like, oh, we, my way, oh, we. Oh, my. when I tell you, my family was holler. My, and you know, Malik, you know my mom. So she was just like, is he serious right now? And it's like, it was just like a big thing. I, I know my family to speak about that all the time. And I'm just like, oh my God, could y'all stop talking about this fucking story? This is like, how old were you? I, 
97, 90, I was six, oh, six okay. or seven, <laughs> six or seven. And just, just imagine me at six or seven as I am today. Uh, just a hot mess. But I was just like, I have to sing this song. This is my mommy and daddy. And like, cute little moment. But it was oh funny. Yeah, God. yeah, it was hilarious. That is one of the reasons children are will not be allowed to And that's why I don't want none. No shade. Uh, no. Children are welcome mm. in every part of my life mm. except mm. for when I say my vows. Because mm. if you ruin mm. it. Oh, oh my God. Oh, we got it on VHS recorded. Uh, oh, yeah. My parents keep it. Oh, yes, VHS. Mm. Oh, yes, VHS. Mm. Oh, my, my Tape moment. recorder, camcorder, all of that. Aaron, Aaron that's cute. do you have anything to share? Um, You know, I've been, I've been sitting here thinking about it. You know, uh, I was a... <laughs> that was an unremarkable child. Come on. Um, I'm trying to think of like something. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> this things that I did. Like it was like a one thing that I did. That my parents, like I can't think of anything that I did. That's like, oh, th- oh, look at that. Remember, remember when, remember when Aaron did that? No, oh, this I, you know, I, I didn't really do anything other than like get beat up and. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, no. No, wait a minute. That's I, not I take funny. that laugh back. I'm Never sorry. Mind. <laughs> Never mind. I thought you were going to pre you know, pre laugh. All I did was get, get my ass beat. Okay. I'm or sorry. All my life I had to fight. Sit back. No, got time? no, no. Oh. I joke about it all the time. It's not a, fact. It's not a big deal. Um, oh. But I'm trying to think, like, I didn't, I didn't really do anything. What is childhood? Super, can you like just gave, any girl? What's just, the range? I just gave you know, like I, re- I rode a bike down a hill <laughs> and I scraped my whole shit open. I used to do dumb shit. Um, Aaron, that's not funny. I used to talk shit to my <laughs> older brother's like friend, so he used to okay. punch me. Come on, no. And then my brother would fight him. <laughs> See, oh. that's the, uh, no, we're going the wrong way. I'm trying to think. Yeah, that's kind of um, is that supposed to be funny? <laughs> no, I'm saying I'm trying. No, I'm saying like I want you to stop. I want you to stop thinking. Loud. <laughs> well, you know, I don't honestly. I don't know. I, I was a very it's okay. I my uh, my exciting times didn't come until like I was a teenager. Okay. Okay. Know? Well, do you want to give story from there? Then that's still okay. I'll, let, I'll let you grab. <laughs> that's right. Still I'm gonna gag you, bitch. Can we go right. uh-huh. around? No. I don't have anything. I'm, uh-huh. I'm, I'm, I'm Why you giving that girl? Oh, you ain't girl. <laughs> Wow, we suck on my story. That's the only story we got to no, tell. No, I thing. got a story. Go ahead, Miss Dave. So it off. I think I'm gonna tell this one. I actually have a quite a very funny childhood. Oh my god. Um, my mama used to let us cuss when we were younger, Ooh. and uh, <laughs> now, listen, mama didn't play that around my part. <laughs> Me and my my mom and my dad would like my let us like still don't play that. my real dad Can't would like let now. us curse, and they'd be like, okay. We're gonna give y'all sixty minutes, sixty seconds. You can say anything you want. Oh my god. So, anywho. <laughs> My grandmother got us two hamsters as Aww. presents. Okay. And um, long story short, nobody, like, I, I knew nothing about hamsters, but, you know, they, like, basically sleep during the day. They're, like, nocturnal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So my mom was so fucking over it. And then, like, one night, that bitch got loose. <laughs> Mama don't play that. <laughs> and imagine a black single mother and a hamster bitch. My mama was they going like mice, fucking bitch, crazy. Mm. So we're like basically standing on the couch or whatever, trying to like find the hamster. And then um, all of a sudden, like basically, I get down on the uh, you know I stand on the uh, floor or whatever, and then like the hamster start crawling me, and I was like. Oh shit! <laughs> and, <my mom. laughs> and I'm like seven years old, bitch. It was so funny. Oh my Me, God. my mama, and my sister were uh, we. But um, and the other story is when my granddaddy, uh, he cut me, my, gave me a bald head when I was like five oh years my old. God. So I was like walking around, like it was a mess. A like everybody, a whole bald head, Child, five, like five after, or six years. He old. just wanted you to get teeth. Oh, I was hell. so over it. Girl. It was reading me out, my entire family. But um, Yikes. good times. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what about you? Um, <laughs> I'm like trying to think of like, I was just I, I feel like I didn't have a filter as a child. Oh no! Oh no! Like my um my uncle's ex wife when they were dating, um, they were in college and like I would just be hanging around, and she used to like say so. I just didn't like her for some reason. And I just remember they tell the story of like one day she just told me like Trey I'm not playing with you and I said well I ain't fucking playing with you either mm-hmm. and they it just laughed that's like the only thing that they <laughs> and how then old like, were you I had to be like four oh no but like I just I just don't have like I feel like nothing else happened in childhood that was like oh I can't this is hilarious 
Like, I mean, shit, it probably ain't coming I just, now because we old. I just snitched. I just snitched well, on my funny. aunt. Mine's was funny too, bitch. Like, I snitched on my aunts and then was just yelling at people. Like, I feel like that was it. I feel like that's practically my life now, but like, um, we, no snitching part. Quick question Who are you less likely to speak to at uh, a family function? Oh, oh my family. who's your family? <laughs> my <laughs> entire family. <laughs> we said who you not like. Girl, you don't gotta you ain't gotta drop no names, oh, but you can just say not. my aunt. I'm not gonna drop a name. I mean, but you know me. Um, oh, you be like, I just got this one aunt. This motherfucker aunt just get on my damn nerve. Um, no, I have an aunt. Um, yeah, I have. An aunt I think too. I yeah, I've spoke about her like you know when it was me coming out of the closet near oh. her like distance a little bit, but I still love her and we still kind of sort of get along. Uh, we're cordial. Um, she she keeps it cute because now I'm a little older and my mouth is a little bit wider and I gotta talk a little bit more and I can cuss your ass out so it's a little different. Um, but yeah, she's probably the one that I stay clear of. Like we don't really like try to cross paths. Yeah. Or, like because I know get there it's gonna probably be a little you know a little heated because of past situations. Like I have let it go but it's just like bitch listen don't do it. You it's know? it's so crazy because when I was um when my mom came here we had a conversation about like just. She asked me if, like, I felt like the black sheep of the family. And, um, because she was saying how, like, she was speaking to another one of my uh, cousins and he happens to be black and gay. And, uh, he was explaining to her that he always felt like the black sheep. So when she came to visit, we had a conversation surrounding that. Mm -hmm. And I said yes, obviously. Okay. But, um, oh, damn. You know, I get high and I forget what I say. Shit. I do it every fucking it's, time. It's, <laughs> you were the black sheep with the family. Boom. Oh. And then what were we talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the family. So, no. Member. Like, what I will say is, like, growing up, I, deal, I did feel like I didn't have the space, like, to be who I am. But, like, now I'm older and we don't have family functions. And I also live in New York. So, like, I don't know what it is to, like, be who I am now around I'm my family. Saying, bitch, you could come around my family. You, 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 you know what I'm up. saying? I mean, my of course my mom and my, you know, my sister are cool with yeah. it, you know, and everything. I'm yeah. out and about. But, like, as far as, like, you know, my family, family, um, I, I don't really, really mess with. But, like, I do have an aunt, too. <laughs> the aunts be the worst. It's no shade. The aunts be carrying the aunts be the worst. Yo. Nobody, and, and my mother has two sisters, so it's not just, it's, mm. the other aunt is was very supportive. I hated playing sports. Like, I'm it just wasn't like, I don't like playing football. Oh, I loved it. Mm-mm. I hated it. I loved it I was it on all. the sideline. And it's like, I'm a, a queen. Yeah, let yeah. me be a queen. Let me be a queen. <laughs> my, my, life, like, my childhood was a little different. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, well, speak on it. Look. Okay, speak so on what it. You, what, like, what did you do when you were No, I younger? did all sports. Okay. Except for like baseball, I hated that one. Okay. I was forced to play sports, and I hated it. I played oh, I football it. when I was younger. Um, I was just thinking like about family members I just don't care about. Okay. <laughs> you just said your entire family. <laughs> to go back to the shady question, Look, what family? It depends you? on the moment because everyone does something dumb that I just don't like. Oh shit! And it always happens around like big like. A Christmas a Holidays Or a, mm, Or mm, a, mm, like A birthday Or something. or something And it's just be like The funerals I already don't like you So why you keep Digging your grave Any further Not grave At the funeral but, oh, oh my no. god <laughs> I'm much no. better Than my grandmother She shady as hell At a funeral Don't you love grandmother I'm about to say Don't you love grandmother <laughs> Shady oh. I will love Live for her Until the day I die Ain't nothing yes, warm but, <laughs> Yeah They all pick They all piss me off And, I, and depends on the moment the so legends. like, uh, I just really don't care for her idea. I fucking love it. Mm, mm. Did you play any sports? My like mom, she tried rather half-heartedly Damn. to get me to play sports um, in high school, so I ran track. Come on, but track. it didn't. I lasted about a week and a half. Uh-huh. And None of y'all play sports as a kid. Oh, no. wait a minute. Okay, so wait a minute. Not I did. A I did. Well, uh, yeah, you can consider it. I did karate. Oh, that was cute. But I was just trying to be. Oh. See, at that moment in time, I was into like she's, Power Rangers, and I wanted to be, to be a Power Ranger. Ranger. <laughs> I wanted to be the pink. Hello, yeah. I wanted to be Kimberly all fucking day. Okay. No shade. I <laughs> wanted I to be her. I slid my ass right in the choir, and I stayed there. Oh, no, oh, I see. did all. I did that, and I did sports at the same time for Look. since from fourth grade till I was. Out of school mm-hmm. Sports was not my thing I did Just I sung too But like my passion Really came when um I learned how to play The trumpet Like that really oh, Really stole my heart I'm on trumpet And um Yeah Like Yeah Sports was like a no go <laughs> no, no, no. 
Don't ask I me. I used to get in fights on a, on a soccer field. That used to be my favorite thing. Oh, my goodness. Because soccer, you can be aggressive and you can, like, knock people soccer. over. I thought you should have been playing football, goddammit. I did. That was my favorite right. thing, but too. But what you was fighting over soccer the girls, ball? Right. You was kicking the girls in their shins, Mr. No, no, mm. no. Mm. But, like, I was aggressive, so, like... I will knock you over. Like, I'm not going to not knock you over. I want to win. She was, I'm a competitive person. So, like, winning is, like, what I need. So, like, if you were in my way, I'm going to knock you over. See, I'm not very competitive either. Me. See, no, uh, I am. Uh, I'm just like, okay. I'd be like, why am I doing this? <laughs> like, uh, you, I'll like, like, it's fine. You win. Okay. I, it's See? Let's go get a sandwich. I don't. Oh, my God. No, care. I need to really win. Mm-mm. So, um, this is interesting. I'm. Oh, Look, Jesus. You're going back in uh-huh. Go ahead <laughs> So Who was your very First best friend When you were younger How did y'all meet If you can remember back Oh my god far? Um So my first best friend Is my best friend Still to this day oh, Um wow. Shauna She lives in uh, Vegas now Um She was in New York Um Of course To grow up Through our childhood Um And She was my first best friend Um Before she transitioned Uh <laughs> We got into a fist fight in high school or no this is younger we were like oh. little kids um and i think it was because i'm going to be completely honest i think in, in in growing up we were both gay and when you're gay growing up as a kid i don't know about everyone else i'll speak for myself when i was growing up we were like trying to be the baddest bitch <laughs> growing up top gay <laughs> top, we were trying to be the top gay and oh, we I were kids, so can't. it's a little different. You understand? <laughs> like, bitch, you not giving what I'm giving Y'all this day. So we was ki- we was real, real kitty cats on the block. You want to be on top, honey. and I mm. and I was that bitch, and she was new to the neighborhood, and I wasn't having it. It just was what it was. But we had our fist fight, my sister, and did, right, <laughs> and we ended up. Um, Becoming friends over like girl groups. Somebody got their ass no, no, beat? It, it was it was a fair. We me me and her holds our own. You know what I'm saying? We those girls. We, it was it was a time. Game. We gave it with a gay. That's because we came sisters. I'm like, bitch, you could throw it like I could throw us. We could throw it together. Um, so you know, we ended up becoming friends over the simple fact of like girl groups. Like mm-hmm. we liked uh, TLC, 3LW, all those girls, and we were just like sitting on the porch one day, and I'm just like, yo. Listening to music, I guess I'm singing a song or something. And he was like, bitch, I like that song too. Like, you know, just, and just clicked. Yeah, became a thing. And we became good best yeah, friends. And we're best friends thing. to this day, yeah. Became a thing. Yeah, it became a thing. I was like, okay, bitch, you like music like me, bitch, okay. Yeah, and then, now hey, we, well, we was both the baddest bitches on the block. Come on out. I, so I, I moved around a lot as a kid, so I, did, I didn't really get a chance to be get a best friend until around eighth grade. Um, he... His name was Darcy, and uh, he was kind of a bigger kid. And I remember he used to beat up anybody that made fun of him for his name. Oh, and Damn. Uh, okay. I mean, we were I- in gym class, and we were like playing like kickball. We had to run up and kick the ball. You were like in line, and I I don't know. I think I think I was desperate for friends or something. But uh, he was like the only other black kid in my class at the time. So I ran up and like stepped in front of him. And was like, we should be friends. And he was like, cool, get out of the way, because you just you just cut me like, for the, the <laughs> Get out of the way. And I was like, I was like, okay, be but friends after. I just want to make sure that like he's like, I was like, I think we should be friends. Oh and he goodness. was like, all right. And he's like, move. And so he went and kicked the ball and like you know whatever. And I just went and kind of kept bugging him. <laughs> Aaron, your shit sounds <laughs> like something out of a movie. I swear and to God. No, I mean that's God. that's basically oh like I just kind of I bugged him into kind of accepting friend? my presence. Like I. We'd just kind of hang around him. He'd be like, what do you want? And I'd be like, oh, you know. <laughs> da, da, da. And I'd just be like, right now, I'd like, give up e- like e- a e- constant stream of jokes like, oh and, you know, God. whatever. And eventually he just kind of was like, he, he just kind of accepted it. And then we became like friends. And uh, we're still friends to this day. Darcy Wilson. Love hey, him. Yay. Shout out, bro. Yay. Um, but yeah, so I, I got my first best friend being a pest, which is... Sometimes on brand. That's how it works. It's all yeah, right. Yeah, on brand for me. So. Oh, my God. Yeah. That was cute. Um, I'm gonna go. Uh huh. Shout Love. out Brandy Lit Me. I can still up. <laughs> <laughs> that used to be, um, and we still are very on very good terms and still good friends. Um, me and Brandon were so this was my best friend before the best friend no shade Boom, um, before twiggy ah. it's no shade <laughs> but um i met brandon in middle school and like 
child. How did I like? Oh, so this this is the tea. I can't tell this tea. So this is the shade. This is also how I met Twiggy. I met Twiggy through my friend Brandon. Well, and look me, and, me and Brandon were actually in the went to the same middle school. So that's how I knew him. And um, we just had became like friends or whatever. And it was just like, you know, middle school was like when we were like, you know, exploring our sexuality and stuff. Mm. And I, re- I remember it's no shade. Brandon had a cell phone in middle school and like. For the girls that are 30 plus. When you had a cell phone, when you, you had a girl. Okay, when you had a <laughs> cell phone. And this is pre-high school, bitch. He was in middle bitch. school. He had mm. a cell phone. So Jeez. basically, when you when you went through his phone, he saved all the boys' numbers as girl numbers. Ooh, <laughs> so young cunt. I can't. Bitch. He had, and it's so funny because she, it's always the girls who have the strictest parents that are the biggest talk, mess. Talk, talk about it. <laughs> no shade. But talk girl, he used it. to be literally giving me all the chats. And it's so funny how, like, I will say I was like a very late bloomer out of like all my friends. I feel like all of my friends were like exploring mm-hmm. and I was like, you no. know, stuck in the house <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> like, I mean, I was just doing school stuff, but. I really didn't get to run the streets like the girls be, did in high school. I used to be on the information superhighway. Okay? <laughs> I used to be running get the digital streets. Okay, I used to be not the here. digital streets, not bitch. the digital streets. Uh, I used to be in the in the chat room, in the chat rooms, on the chat line. You know she, she was cruising. Look, Girl. I ain't playing with her. Now it's just like day. ASL, and I was like, oh my god, come on ASL. <laughs> Take 22, us back, like yeah. 22. Oh, y'all she was, was playing. lying about ages and shit. Chad, we yes. did all of that shit to get some things oh. done. I love what it. No I shirt. love that our generation knows what it was to be a freak pre-internet. Oh and yeah, after the internet. Like, oh yeah. It's like, it's, girl, remember what we had to do? Oh <laughs> we had to make God. some moves, no, baby. <laughs> we couldn't send it. Was a picture message? Bitch, you had to send a little text. It like, took a consorted effort, to bitch. It's oh, no yeah. shade. I'm thankful. You had to reach out and touch the girls. <laughs> I'm thankful that my, my, my no, we tried to touch the girl. So it was, it was, an oh my God. It was oh. awful, and I'm like. <laughs> Like, People awful. be like, oh, you know, you don't even know. I was like, girl, but that shit was terrible. That like, was it's so no shade. But the shade was, we was really getting our rocks off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, y'all was. But it was because we, 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 we do what we had to do what we, we had, but it was <laughs> terrible. The like, I, really I, off I, the shout, shout out to the girls. I do not want to go back, which I, I used to be. I learned a few things. You know what I'm saying? I used I to be uh, right. <laughs> typing it up. Bitch, hunched over my fucking keyboard, bitch. Oh my god! Bro, I wish y'all could see. Well, you can't see Aaron face. <laughs> oh, cause we got ca- oh, we got cameras in, in the studio now. Girl, I, my stomach hurt from laughing at you, bitch. I Fingers can. all carpal tuned up okay. with that computer. <laughs> you so at stupid. At four in the morning, like okay. Da, 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 da. I the fucking right. You know what I'm okay, saying? Lord. Like this nigga want me. Can you, a bitch? Oh I used to be on that fucking going back to something. I used to be on a Game Boy for like eight to ten hours baby. a fucking day. Baby. It is oh, I ridiculous. Had a Game Boy. Baby. That was also oh something that was so addictive to me when I was little, bitch. I used to be fucking like as much as we're glued to I had all of them. I had the Game Boy, I had the Game Boy Color, the Game Boy yeah. Advance, the Game Boy Advance SP. Come on. I stopped yeah. after a while. What was the flip one? The one that flipped up that SP. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I stopped. After that, I was like, okay, yeah. this thing. I'm yeah, I had that lime green color, color bitch. The, Then the Advance was the one that was kind of like uh-huh, sideways. Side, uh-huh. And then the Advance SP was the one that flipped up and flipped down. Yeah. I, had I the- loved that mm-hmm. one. Mm-hmm. Oh, my little Keep suitcase the- gay boy. I, was, so I thought I was so oh. fucking oh. cool. <laughs> no shade. I'd have been over you as oh a kid. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, all the little was, games. I, like, I think I was a bully as a kid. So maybe I can kind of see that. But I mean, I'm older than you. So like by the time you got I mean, up to... I did not make any difference. Oh, oh, depends on the grade you were in there. I'm so. just going to let you way. know. Just keep it funky. Just there was no know. way that any kid that was more than like a grade or two below, below me. me was given what they was given. Okay. would have sat that ass right on down. Ain't no way. I'm just going to let hey. you know. Uh, ain't no way, I'm baby. Here, I was getting... I was getting uh, you know what I'm saying? This hierarchy is bully uh, shit. I was getting bullied. Uh, uh, by it, kids that was two know. grades older than me, hey, not two grades now, younger. No. Uh, there was no bullying over here. Yeah. They was, uh, I was getting my ass beat uh, by uh, the cream of the crop. Oh, oh. oh boom. All right, wasn't just any <laughs> nigga out there beating my ass, okay? Period. I can't. Yikes. Period. Did y'all have any imaginary friends or just like special games that y'all would play? 
Yeah. No. Oh, I always wanted to be a superhero. So we was when I was kid with my friends and we was little, oh, we always I wanted to be a superhero. We was playing around and I was always running around being a female. I was being Storm, all that. I was doing. <laughs> I was being Storm. The- yeah. Kimberly, I had a very large you know. collection of like ink pens. <gasps> Oh my god! Like you used to, like draw or... different color. I don't... No, no. Um, okay, well, I, I would did just that pretend bitch. they were Look. like alive, or like that they were like superheroes, and I would oh. play with them oh. and play again because I play on myself a lot, and so I would pretend that they were like super, like on all they all have different powers, like different ninja powers or whatever, okay. and I would fight them against each other. But what about the action figures? You didn't get no action figures. No. Uh, I'm being sick. So, I know no, I, the I thing about it is, the action figures they would tend to so. They would. I, I felt like they would trap my imagination because they would mm, be okay. whatever the actual. I would have to stay within whatever world right. that was. Okay, got you. If I, I moving beyond that, you know what I'm saying. I was I was in the stars with it. You know, I was, uh, the was bringing the pins. I was, with the action figures. Right, you know what I'm saying. I was, got you. I'm with you. It was some real uh, bridge of Terabithia before the disaster type. Yeah, shit, yeah, yeah. You know? not disaster. <laughs> <laughs> um. So this is so funny, but um, I used to have this friend Josh, and we would pick which charm wait, sister wait, we would be. It was Come real on, charm No. It was a real, real friend. Charm. That wouldn't be the charm. It I was, was so scared. He would, I he would come over my house. I would go over his house or whatever. But um, I think I would always usually be Prue, and he would be um, he would be Piper usually. And then when me and my cousin, when we would play together, because this is so funny, me and my cousin are the same age, and we're both gay. And when we it was were younger, in the water. I, you said what? <laughs> it was something it, in the water. Now let me tell you, I got a lot of gay cousins, bitch. So do I. Just say, that's I why I understand. Have, and I'm the contest one. <laughs> They no ask. shades. Okay. But no, um, <laughs> what I was about to say, uh, me and the good thing about it is is that growing up, I my cousin was my best friend. That's okay. the good thing. And like, um, I will say, like, I always said this, but going to his house was like such a safe space because his mom is gay. Come on. <laughs> so we was just a big old oh, gay, gay house. Bitch. A gay it's family. No shade. But on. um, and my mom would let me go over there all the time. But anywho, me and him would um we would be vampire slayers because he loved Buffy. Buffy. Oh, my God. What gay didn't love Buffy? Buffy was that girl. So, bitch, he would be throwing, um, the, he would throw, like, a pillow at me and I would act like I'm mistaking it. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> it was a mess, but we would literally be going through the house <gasps> acting a fool, bitch. It's no oh shame. Oh, my God. No, mine was, we would play music group and I was always <laughs> the lead singer. Here she and go. Look. <laughs> But it was always my sister and then our own friends. So then, like, they would break, we would break up <laughs> all the time. And I would get so upset. And Trey, and Trey you would go solo. <laughs> yes, I did. Because I went on right to 106 in Park. Here we go. To Here premiere we go. my videos. I was making sure I was getting my awards and my, um. She was getting her Grammys and I her I was getting things. everything that I deserved. Oh I can Okay. How did we come up with these elaborate stories? Girl. <laughs> that was, that was, I love those games because it was just like I knew my talent and like <laughs> you wasn't trying to be a doo wop pop chick all the rest no, of your life. No. Like my sister, that was when my sister couldn't sing like a note, so I would be like, uh, uh-uh, uh, you sound like a cow, girl. Sister, sit over there. I can see play the now. tambourine. Uh, no. <laughs> and then that was it. Like I loved it. That was so much fun. Now I think about it, but I didn't have an imaginary friend. Um. Damn, none of us had imaginary friends. Uh, Oh no, I had. So this is so crazy. Oh shit! I did have an imaginary friend, but this is about to sound so bitchy. I'm scared. (laughs) But look, that was then. This is now. (laughs) Go ahead. So they're really not imaginary because they are actually fictional characters. But (laughs) right, it's okay. Go ahead. You stole yours. Ah, Bitch, fuck you. I'm sorry. Look, bitch, fuck you. (laughs) No, you stole him. Yeah, Mario and Luigi, for okay. whatever reasons, were like my friends in my head, okay. and I think because of my sister. Me and uh, my sister are like close in age, but not close in age. Um, but yes, bitch, I don't know why they were my imaginary. Friend. And you were Princess Peach. <laughs> Maybe. And so and no, I'm here for it. Come on, Princess. Yes, Peach. yes, but no, that was that was all I had to say. But yeah, um, it's so interesting because like the kids have like a totally different. Everything they ain't given what they like gave when we was given it. What we thing. grew up with mm-hmm. and just the things that they um, have access to. But I like um, how y'all see the kids, and I probably was one of them. You know, I mean, to. but you, you, <laughs> well, I, you, little, like you yeah, still you know, know a little bit. I'm talking about there is like people. I still grew up in the in between time where mm-hmm. there was dial up, so mm-hmm. I know what that is. So okay. I'm I'm old but young. 
these girls, there's some girls that don't, don't know shit. Like my little babies that I was teaching, they don't, like they, oh, no, they have iPhone babies. 10s and 11s now. I remember it having is disgusting. my first cell phone. <laughs> mm. when, did, when did Which you I get know, a cell phone? I got a cell phone when I was in eighth grade. It was Nokia and it was T-Mobile and it was prepaid. I'll never get it. I thought I was that girl. Sure did. And I was. <laughs> Fuck that. I was that girl. Mm. I had a Nokia something or other. I don't remember exactly the model. But uh, yeah, was it, it was it was Metro PCS, okay, and I Metro paid PCS. for it myself. Okay, Metro PCS. Yeah, okay. Um, mine. It was like sixty mm-hmm. something dollars a month. Oh my god! Oh, oh okay. God. Wow. Yeah, I yeah. had. Uh, I think mine was like tenth or eleventh grade, and I used to work at KFC. <laughs> so yeah, I was working Mama at Mama stayed coin, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> My life is different. Um, it was like fifth grade. No, fourth grade. Fourth grade, you had a phone? Yeah. Well, but I mean, only because I had to walk to review. school. Mm-hmm. And my yeah, parents all kids would be had, like, like... After a while, all kids had phones. My parents yeah. were like, okay, now you have to walk to school. You got to call us mm-hmm. when you get home. That's crazy. Da, 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 da. Mm-hmm. But my issue was I would always like lose or break a phone. Ah. So my phones would get replaced like every year. Like I remember mm-hmm. I jumped in a pool with one. I lost one in class one day. Ooh, my God. But then I stopped. But, like, yeah. I had a phone real young. Well, young from my generation. So, yeah. So, chill. We go ahead and give it to Trey. Because, bitch, we've been all over the we motherfucking planet questions. with this. <laughs> we got a listener we? question? Oh, we do? Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. All right. Or let's say a listener letter. Um, <laughs> Come on, letter. It is typed. The subject is... Fuck all these niggas. <gasps> Talk about it. Oh, my God. Okay. Child. Talk about it. I um, like that. Hey, ass. y'all. Firstly, I'd like to say I'm a huge fan of what y'all doing. And I identify with something from each of you literally every week. Thank you. And y'all are funny as hell. Yay. Um, any gay. That was. <laughs> any gay. <laughs> any gay. Um, Let's go. I'm writing because I'm just so fed up with men. Okay. Mm-hmm. After a string of failed and toxic, if I'm honest, relationships, situationships, and failed attempts of with inconsistent I, inconsistency, I can't do this anymore. Mm. I want to believe in love, especially black queer love, but my God, niggas make that shit so hard, Talk and your girl it. is jaded and tired as fuck. Come on, girl. <laughs> <laughs> my friends say keep trying, but I honestly don't know if I could give a good man the time of day if he bit me on the nose. Oh my goodness. Any advice on how not to be a jaded bitch? I know my worth 100% and Come I on. know what I have to bring to the table. Hell, I am the table. I just want someone to be worth I, it. First of all, I Never love this perfect, energy. Just Come on. worth it. Come on out. Keep slaying y'all. Come on, Jaded out. the Stallion. <laughs> Jaded the Stallion, come the fuck Girl. on out, Miss Thing. I I'm smell king. the shit that you're stepping king. in. I love that. I'm, that's all I'm gonna say. I'm cute. Oh my god. Um. um right. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I think I think that you should just take some time to be, you know, just just with you. You gotta say, be um, your damn self. Yeah. No I, well, I I think that you know. When when you start to feel like all all the options that are available to you are all trash, like everywhere you look is trash, you know you're halfway there because you know men are trash. But Gosh. also, you know, I think that you need some time to um, take a step back and get some new perspective. Uh, start looking at things a little differently, and I think that might change the type of men that you encounter um, if you look at the, if your point of view changes. And I think in order to do that, you need to take some time. To yourself, just focus on you know things that advance you and things that don't have anything to do with looking forward to or making yourself better for mm-hmm. a relationship. Um, just do things that improve your life and do things that have to do with only you. Mm-hmm. And you know, after a while, I think that you know once you find that you're ready to fuck with niggas again, you know, you might be like, oh, okay, hold on, it feels a little different in here, mm-hmm. you know, and, and it's because you're different. So that's what I think you should do. Take a little time. Yeah, I mean, he said that, um, well, they said um, that they couldn't get, they couldn't know a good man if it bit them in the nose. So then you should stop trying to search for one because you don't know. Or let them come to to you. Um, And I just think that you should just, as Aaron said, take your time, just sit back, 
somebody will hopefully find you and if not then you'll find them just take a break you know stop striving for a relationship you know like just take a break from striving for a relationship because when you strive for a relationship you end up finding some bullshit well, clearly they found said, enough bullshit all these they put that in the letter <laughs> Well, I was saying also, I said it a few episodes or in the summer sometime, but, you know, Miss Marianne, she said, you oh, can't. Hey, Miss Marianne. You basically can't, like, meet somebody on the first day and be like, you, you know, this married. is a relationship. Hey, you Betty. have to Look. see how it mm-hmm. goes. And I think sometimes the disappointment or the severity of, like, the disappointment comes from the fact that, like, we already had the wedding planned out. And it's just like, well, well bitch. Miss <laughs> Marianne, I'm still mad at her because she told me not to date no niggas. Girl, and the, the girls was. And the my girls roster when it gets. is empty, <laughs> so Miss Marianne ain't keeping me warm at night. <laughs> I'm about to say Miss Marianne don't know you on a girl, personal tip, so she really girl, could help me. You. And Miss Marianne got some, girl, got some she questions. Do, do. For her. She ain't no but no. no. Miss Marianne speak the truth, but she was saying like you know you can't sit up there and be like oh I'm gonna be this nigga's wife and you don't even know you know Work, you, this on y'all on the second date you know. Um, and I, I agree, totally well, agree he, with the Aaron. Any, I also think that somebody was living a life of a wife doing that. They they try and be a wife. Oh, they living a life. Oh, of oh a yeah, wife. That's, of a lady. And that's totally no. <laughs> no. I love when you say that. Please. And that's totally fine. I think that wanting a relation, nothing is wrong with wanting a relationship. That means that you're only looking to date seriously. But again, there's a way to get to that. Is what I'm saying. Like no it race. has to be a foundation. Yeah, yeah. it's just no between wanting a relationship and striving for one. That's why right. I struggle. It's like you know, you don't want to Need put one. everything you got towards. Like everything that you do is to get a man. Like all you know, any advancement you're making for yourself or or to impress you know a man when you start dating or. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything is always related to, oh, this will make me more attractive mm-hmm. to somebody that yeah. I can date. Just strive for something else, you know, just for a little while. See what that feels yeah. like. And I think with your new point of view, when you come back to dating, you might find that there's a difference. Come on out. Because niggas ain't worth it. Period. And I want to, I try to do that in my personal life, too. Like, mm-hmm. uh, making sure, like, what I'm doing. Because I feel like, you know, in the age we live right now, it's like everybody's doing things for them, themselves. But or for other people but like just make sure you're doing th- pursuing someone or pursuing love for all of the right reasons and not like pursuing a person just to have the person on your arm or, oh, well, or your just pictures. start dating yourself I feel like yeah. that is a beautiful thing to I do. did I tried that <laughs> I'm, doing, I'm <laughs> doing that now did you not like yourself did no, your hand like, ain't keep you know, your hand ain't keep it right thing. it's you know cause I, and I, I I hear it a lot and, you know and I'm I honestly I was like oh yeah you know yeah I'm gonna date me cause I'm I'm worth it you know I can take I'm gonna take me out I know your worth. I'm boring, you know, on. like you know your worth. I would, you know, I'd, I'd like, I'd rather spend my time with somebody. You know? <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with so you. So, Mama getting looking lonely at night. Like, is that what you're I saying? Can't. I'm a bore. I was like, well, girl, you know what I'm saying. I, I wouldn't take you. I wouldn't yourself? take you on a second date, sis. Like, <laughs> oh, I, you. I, mean, I love me. I need so, some company. Okay. You know what I'm saying? No, what I think. I uh, what I mean is, that I think I'm just I'm tired of dating myself. No, I'm. You know, you want a man. Sometimes no, nothing's wrong. I think sometimes we have a. I want a, to date. I don't want. I want. I want no man. Yeah, I don't want to date. But you want them cuddles and you want them things now. I want to date. I want to go out. Uh, mm-hmm. I want a man. Okay. I just, I just to be honest, I, I just want to spend you. money. What you want? And <laughs> <laughs> you want to spend what? I just want to spend money. Okay. Like you I know me. Just, <laughs> just give me. The I like stuff. going out. Um. <laughs> So some dinners and what, stuff. Dinners mm-hmm. and so yeah. Yeah, can't believe what you. Bro, you want some dinners? You want a <laughs> dinner, bitch? You y'all want a dinner, date, bitch? Y'all can beat each other. You know friend I love to hype you up. Each other uh, out. You know you Nowadays, want some dinner. That you whole want like, oh, it's a free dinner. I'm not. That's that's not. I'm like, no, it's not oh, worth no, it. Honestly, I could. Uh, okay. Shit, I'm, I'm gonna get me it. something neat. Because uh, then well, I gotta I look at you. Dinners, but I gotta look at you. I say to you the whole time, and I'm not interested. Oh hell. Oh hell no. Um. Oh, is it? Are we? Yeah. It's your okay. time. Okay, it's time for Jam of the Week. Mm-hmm. Jam of the Week for the first time in three weeks. Yes, ma'am. Um. Oh. Okay. Ass. Ass and titties. Mm-hmm. Where in? Ooh, Where, I'm, I'm looking ass at you saying Ariel. Oh hit, my god. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hey, what's with you? Um, Malik, darling, what is your Jam of the Week since you had your Girl. ass all out? Um, y'all gonna be over this. Y'all oh, gonna be over shit. me. It's probably some damn Fantasia. Uh, uh, no. uh-uh. Mine's gonna be a Fantasia song. No, uh, it's bad babies, a lot of them. <laughs> okay. Oh, you was hanging God, out with Kerwin again, no. wasn't you, girl? I know. 
that damn girl. That's Kerwin. my song, bitch. I said what I said. Up. Go ahead, bad baby. Oh, shout out to Kerwin. Uh-huh. He had a, holo- a Halloween party <laughs> over the weekend, bitch. It was lit. Yeah, look at y'all had a good time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't think I've ever left his house sober. No, you haven't. <laughs> look. Um, ever. Okay. Ever. Um, Stevie, please. Keep us better than that damn. Um, you put my out. jam of the week is by Victoria Monet. Uh, it's ass like that. Yeah, it's a I great song. Yes. I love her. I love her. Just one more time. I love her. Um, I love the meaning of the song. It made the girls want to get in the gym and get their ass right and stuff yeah, like my that. Pants are too tight. I can't do all my moves that I normally. I could do a naked. Oh, Listen, yeah. yes, that's ma'am. That's all that Boom shakalaka. Half naked, baby. Yeah, yeah baby. Matters, okay, on well, my nuts and crannies out. Long um, in. Hey <laughs> now. <laughs> Thanks, Victoria, for giving me this soul to work out to, Miss Thing. Um, but yeah, Ask Like That by Victoria Monet. And my gem of the week is Die a Little Bit by Tanache featuring okay. Miss Banks. It's her new single off her upcoming album. Show Songs Tanache for you. some love. No shade. Uh, the song is fantastic. Yes. I love it. I've literally, I literally, I've been, I've been playing it over and over again. And it's I love the video. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited for Songs for You because this is uh, her first time releasing music underneath, not underneath any sort of contract or anything. Uh, it's just her. So Tanache, I'm excited no to see what else she's gonna come out with because I love no this shit. one. So yes, yes. That's my jam of the week. I, I guess, love Tanache. I, 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 <laughs> I guess I gotta listen to that again. Um, <laughs> Here we go. Uh, what's, Trey, what the uh, fuck uh, is your jam of the week? I like it. No, I, I love it. Literally was not shade. I ha- honestly have to listen to it again. I do Girl. have to listen to it again because I don't normally like it. I'm so weak. What's your um, jam of the week? Look. God damn. <laughs> My jam of the fucking week is Summer Walker's Body. That's my song. Okay, shout out to Summer Walker. I like Summer Walker, and I will say, I didn't know what Summer Walker looked like until three weeks ago, and I'm quite surprised. Yeah, I didn't know what she looked like either. Um, But I like her... I'm okay with this album. I just wish they would start giving her some damn auto tune like she needed it or something. Mm-mm. That was the one thing that irked me. Mm-mm. But other than that, like I get her. I hate that people are like judging her because she's not a performer. Performer like she ain't doing no she's, eight counts and shit. You know? Yeah, like she got anxiety and yeah. we don't have to live with it. Period. I, I mean that's the, like the videos. That I, I, love the vi- I love the. I love her. her voice. Yeah, and Sounds like good. that reminds me of like Zayn from One Direction, like. He made some good music when he first came out, but his anxiety just did not let him tour, perform, do half the shit. At least she mm-hmm. doing the damn tour. Mm-hmm. Um, I like her. She remind me of the '90s girls, like the Nicole Ray, mm-hmm. her like her voice. Um, mm-hmm. And shout out to Ari Lennox because I love that bitch. Oh yeah, that's talk about life. it. Thank you for that's my I've been bitch. listening to Ari Lennox that's like the last listening. two we weeks. I've been she's listening amazing. and watching Ari Lennox. And just she's funny oh, yeah, she's on live. I just live. I that damn fucking Ari. Uh, live for oh Ari Lennox. Girl. And there's a Twitter page now dedicated to, to just her lives. Her fucking lives. Mm-hmm. And I've never laughed so much She's funny as in fuck. my entire life. Yeah. And it's because the, the voice she has on her song is so not the voice she has on her uh-huh. life. It's like a whole Michelle situation. <laughs> and I'm really in love with it. It's like Michelle if she wasn't as a little off as she is now. Bless you. Oh. Bless Michelle. I love Michelle though. I, I do too. <laughs> in my heart. Something's in my heart. My and Lord. I, I can't. <laughs> I, I can go on a whole dissertation about R&B divas. I cannot. Both oh, yeah. Atlanta, <laughs> both Atlanta and Hollywood. Yes, talk about it. I will take that for another day yes um anything left y'all got to say shout out to our listeners in Africa <laughs> shout out to our <laughs> listeners in Africa <laughs> I wish I knew some things to say to y'all okay. but thank y'all for listening to I us. love y'all we love y'all we love okay. everybody <laughs> listening to us every week we back bitches yeah yes ma'am we back um, I love y'all anybody yes, else ma'am. anything else no Mm. Don't forget to tell yourself you love yourself. Bitch, Boom. And Bray, you need to come in with your do rag the next time, girl, because the girls was giving rap. Let me be cocoon. We was giving cocoon. Let me be clear here. <laughs> the girls gave rap. We was giving rap cocoon. Let's and be clear here. Like a butterfly. I do go to school with white people girl, and man. do not. I work on Wall Street and. 
still be in my do rag, honey. See, what I, I don't do. The what they gonna do? Lynch this. you? What I don't. I, hold on, and don't they look bitch, at do rag I mean, like ass fashion now, girl? I done walked in like this is my fashion. Let's piece. be clear here. I don't carry. No, that stays in the house. So that's fine. Girl. That's cute well, for y'all. We gonna keep rocking them. Go on. Um, I'm not mad with. about y'all rocking y'all. Y'all look cute. Yeah, it's very, <laughs> it's very, up, um, very much a 3LW-ish okay. of y'all. <laughs> okay. Nobody has a chicken platter. Okay. Hope no, 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 not in here. <laughs> not in here, ma'am. The chicken would okay. have been eight. So, <laughs> like we always say, you can catch us every motherfucking Wednesday. Every motherfucking Wednesday. And bye. Bye. Bye, baby. Bye.